Skipper, uh, don't you think it'd be the perfect time of the year to take a cruise down along the Mexican coast? I thought you just went out for a sandwich. Well, I've been talking to her, Dan, and she's an awful nice person. I, I, I thought, well, I told her you could help her. Uh, this is Dan Adams, ma'am. Hello? Hello. I'm Doris Denny, Mr. Adams. Oh, come aboard. Thank you. All right, now how can I help you? I don't know whether I can stand being turned down once more. Practically every fishing boat in the harbor has turned her down. Even old Joe Pig and Eddie. That's where I found them. Fishing boats? Commercial boats can't go in there without getting in trouble with the Mexican authorities. Besides, the yellowtail are running. And they don't want to miss the run. Or they're afraid of the rocks. Or they want a fortune and she doesn't have that kind of money. They all had different reasons. But I told her you knew every inch of that coastline. Can't you find something to keep you busy for a few minutes? She was crying. I guess I was crying. It, well, it's been a little difficult. Look, the way Jimmy threw it at me, I don't know whether you just want to go to Mexico or whether you want to go fishing for yellowtail. I'm afraid it won't sound any less foolish the way I say it. I want to know whether I'm a widow, Mr. Adams. The police and most of my friends think I am. It was nearly a year ago. My husband Robert and a friend rented a light plane. They were doing some fishing down the coast of Mexico. Well, they found the wreckage of the plane and... they found the body of Robert's friend, but... they didn't find any sign of my husband. I remember reading about it. The search was very thorough. Yes, I know. Coast Guard, the Mexican authorities, they kept up the search for weeks. They claimed that my husband had to be dead. But I don't believe that. I want to go down there. I've got to go. Look, Mrs. Denny, you're not going to find anything that a ground and air search didn't find. I've got something to go on now. Look at it, Mr. Adams. Robert was wearing it when he left. It's never been in the water. It's running. It's in perfect condition. Just because he was wearing it when he left doesn't mean he had it on when he crashed. The police found it in the Calexico pawn shop about a month ago. Well, then they should have found the guy that pawned it. Well, he was doing some fishing down around Ensenada. He bought it from a Mexican boy who told him that a white man had given it to him or traded it to him for food. They know where the boy came from? It was a place called Muerta Coleta or something like that. Oh, Muerta Coleta. Yeah, that's Kilcoe. I know where it is. It's real rocky and there's no beach, but you can get in there with a boat if you know what you're doing. Will you take me there? Look, Mrs. Denny, it isn't likely that your husband is alive. There must be another explanation for that watch. But I want to see for myself. Look, it's been a year. Mexico's not that remote. If your husband was alive and wanted to be found... He is alive, and he needs me. Please, do this for me. I can pay you. I, I have some money, not a great deal. Well, let's forget about the money. Like Jimmy says, it's a nice time of the year to take a trip. Jimmy! Aye, aye, Skipper. You crew for me for a couple of weeks? Yes, sir, Skipper. What's Mary gonna say? Mary and I are just engaged, not married. You've got your crew. Thank you, Mr. Adams. Well, I wish I could promise you more than just the trip. But I think that's all there's gonna be. I think there'll be more, Mr. Adams. All right, we'll leave day after tomorrow, 5 o'clock in the morning. You know what kind of clothes to bring? Yeah. We had a boat once, nothing like this. Moth class, but it sailed. I'll be here day after tomorrow. Okay. Ah, thank you, Jimmy. Goodbye, Mrs. Denny. This ought to be some cruise. Yeah, I'll tell Mary about it.
minutes late. All right, Joe, the front cabin. You can sleep as long as you like. closer to the coast. That's what I was going to ask. That's a tough life. Marriage isn't going to be like that. Oh, uh, maybe not. I'm going to let him take the boat for a month's honeymoon. His girl sails, too. There's a whale. Could that be? Yeah, they can buy here in a parade this time of year. Here, take these up for it. I saw. There's a boat with a man in it. Fisherman. Out this far? Give some of these characters a putt putt and a gallon of gas will head for Hawaii. Oh no, he's in trouble. He's waving. Skipper. Old scow over there, Skipper. Seems to be in trouble. I will pick him up. of trouble. Trouble? I don't have any trouble. You're the one that's got the trouble. All right, get over there. Hello, baby. You'll find a gun in the bag. I was afraid we'd missed you. <laughs> I had you in sight for almost an hour. Take it easy, boy. I'd just soon lighten this crew a little bit, make it easier to handle. All right, put down the boat hook, Jimmy. I thought this guy looked familiar. He's Jack Bona, an escaped convict. Had his picture in the paper lately. Didn't know I was so famous. I don't believe it. Mrs. Denny, she wouldn't be mixed up with a guy like this. I think your beautiful damsel in distress is Mrs. Bona, not Mrs. Denny. Whatever it takes to get him out of the country someplace where he'll be safe, I'll do. You sure picked out a nice boat, baby. I was expecting some old fish tub. I didn't pick it exactly. He found me. I found out we were lucky. Commercial fishing boat would have been checked a dozen times by the Mexican fish and game boats and the Coast Guard. And nobody's going to pay any attention to a private sailboat. I told you our luck was going to hold this time. Keep them covered, baby. Now you're just leaving the trail.
You didn't have to kill that boy. What's the matter? You take a shine to him? We're gonna need him. You're doing fine. I can't sail or navigate this boat. All you have to do is keep going south. Sailor boy will wake up pretty soon. What are you worrying about? The kid was itchy. We couldn't have watched the both of them. We'd never gotten any sleep. You're not gonna get any sleep with Adams. He won't scare. What's that for? It's just for kicks, baby. For fun. Put it away. It makes me sick. You should have killed me too, Bona. I'm gonna take you apart piece by piece with that whip. What happened to you, Jack? You never used to hurt anybody just for the fun of it. Beautiful thing, a whip. Put it down. He has to take the wheel. I can't handle this boat. At one of the first pens I ever spent any time in, the guards taught me how to braid one of these things out of buckskin. You know, this end can skin a man alive. The other, crack his skull open. A little bit of both is a mighty painful way for a man to die. Jack, please, put it down. You check the cabin? Yes. How many guns were inside? Two, a rifle and a pistol. Go get him. He can take the wheel. will keep the guns in good shape. Everything we're going ashore with goes in the dinghy. We ain't going ashore if he can help it. I'll bet you all he thinks about is getting out of those cuffs and killing me. Every minute. Do you think if I took the cuffs off of him, he'd go over the side? Try to escape? We're only about five miles from shore. He could probably swim it. I've quit thinking. My bet is he wouldn't. Oh, he'd have gone over the side for the kid, all right. The kid's gone now, and all he's got left is the boat. He'll try to save the boat. He knows as soon as I get further south, I got a sinker. <laughs> He'll try to save the boat right to the very end. You know, I'm going to let you stay with the boat. <laughs> Go on inside, get yourself a bite to eat, go to sleep. It's gonna be a long, long night. It was a long, long night. 
I spent it handcuffed to the wheel or handcuffed on the deck, with a shotgun always up my back. There now, you see, we're not this bad, folks. We let you sleep for a couple hours. All right, get down below. Keep him covered, baby. You know that coastline. How far are we from the Muerte Caleta district? I'd have to look at some charts. You don't have to look at no charts, you know. You're never gonna make it, Mona. You wanna bet? I fixed something, it's on the table. What about him? I'm not hungry. Yeah, I'll have a little bite to eat. Get a little shut eye. Keep your eye on them. He's, uh, he's changed. I didn't know he was this bad. Well, now that you know, what are you going to do about it? We had big plans when we were young. He still has big plans for me and for you. You've really got something to look forward to. He'll be the way he used to be once. Once he knows he's safe. He's a sadistic maniac, and you know it. It must be what they did to him in prison that, that made him this way. How long can you go on making excuses for him? I can't turn back now. Well, you can't turn back from Jimmy Hope's murder. But you can probably prevent a lot more killings by helping me. In somebody's book someplace, that'll count. I can't. You see, I... I just can't cross him. You're not sure of that. You're still wondering if you'll go all the way. I'm sure. No, you're not. When you brought out those guns, there was another one Jimmy showed you. I didn't bring out the flare gun. You see, I'm saving that for myself in case I need it. It's not for you. That's all I need, Doris. Get it to me. you, Dan. I deserved what I got. I don't know if I intended to help you with that flare gun or not, but I... I deserved what I got. Then everything's all right between you two again. 
I want you to know that I tried to talk him out of sinking the boat and killing him. Well, try again. We're still quite a ways from where to collect. No, we're not. I checked the charts. That's got to be Santa Margarita Island. And the cove's behind it. Jack read about it. He wrote me. I looked it up. It's quiet there and peaceful. And there are no roads. And well named. Muerte. Death. Kill. It won't be peaceful any longer after he gets there. I wish I could help you, Dan, but... But I can't. You had a chance. You still have a chance. Do you think you can put this tub in there? Can't get any closer under sail. Rocks all through here. Put it on engine. What do I care? I still have to take in the sails. You can't navigate through those rocks with them up. Well, take them in. Well, I can't do it with these handcuffs on. Hmm. <laughs> he thinks he's going over the side. He'll never leave his boat. Not alive, he won't. Can you handle it in close with the engine on if I had to kill him? I don't know. I don't know what it's like in there. Let him take the sails in. If he goes over the side, I'll, I'll try. I, I don't know. I think I can. You better be careful, mister. Keep him covered. You said when you hired me? You wanted to find out if you're a widow. 